Good morning. Good morning. It is 7.30 in the morning over here in Page, Arizona. And we are on our way to Antelope Canyon to go see the spectacular sand formations uh, at 8.30. So we have to be there 45 minutes early and you have to make reservations because it's on Indian reservation land. It's the only way you can actually go and, and see these beautiful formations. So we're very excited. We are. It's chilly, but it's going to be amazing. So up ahead of us, we have the last remaining coal mine. I believe this is either the largest or the second largest coal mine in America that has just closed. They're not mining for coal anymore. So a lot of people who are dependent on the income from here are now looking for other work. Uh, I guess it has served its purpose. It's much better for our environment. Renewable energy, solar and wind, that's the way to go. That's the way of the future. So we've arrived at our little tour. It's gonna take us into Antelope Canyon. Are we going to be driving in those giant open trucks? We're going to freeze our clients <laughs> off. Yeah, it's called Adventurous Antelope Canyon Photo Tours. Two million years ago, this canyon just looked like this. To give you an idea of how this would look like, you just look back in that direction, it's just that big pile of sand under there. During that time, the ocean, heavy rain, or just simply monsoon weather came about, and it would deposit a tremendous amount of water on top of this petrified sand. Now, when this happens, petrified sand has a very strong habit of absorbing moisture very easily. Now, after this, windstorms would come about, and replenish the sand. Now this process would repeat itself for the next few hundred thousands of years. Each time water gets deposited, more sand comes by and replenishes it. 
each time I pour water on there, we are building layers. And each layer holds its own amount of moisture. Now, at one point, all this sand, uh, all this water stops. Arizona goes through a major drought. And what happens next is a tremendous amount of sand begins to pour back on top of the sandstone. In summertime, the sand can be unbearably hot. So due to the heat of sand, it is baking the sandstone underneath the sand. Also, the weight of the sand being uh, packed on top of the sandstone is compressing the sandstone, turning it into our sedimentary rock. So the next time it blows, it'll expose the hidden layers that are right ben below the sand. Ooh. Right here, guys, it's the sandstone, but at a very soft stage. Ooh. Now, what this is showing us right now, at one point, this canyon was one solid rock. But about 70,000 years ago, Arizona was going through some major uplifts. With these uplifts, it exposed the sandstone out of the ground a little bit more. And also, it created the fracture that we just walked through a couple minutes ago. Ooh. Now, this fracture was not as wide open as what we just walked through but it was wide enough for monsoon weather to come back. It was wide enough for monsoon weather to come back and to slowly start to carve right through this little fracture in which this earthquake made. Now, I'm gonna show you guys right here. You're gonna notice as you touch the sandstone, it is very dense to the touch already. Oh, go right ahead. Inside the canyon, you may have noticed that the lines along the wall were going sideways. That is because that is where this is where all the water is pushing in. In this demo, all the water was coming directly from the top of the canyon. So. We're going to see the lines along the wall going up and down instead. Line stations along the wall. We are finally heading back from our uh, antelope tour, Antelope Canyon tour. Yeah, How would you like it? It's so incredible. Inside the caves, it was, it, it, it's just mind-blowing. Just too, too many tourists. Too many tourists, but, but it was really incredibly beautiful. Yeah, incredibly beautiful. Now we're going back to uh, our car, and then we have decided not to go to uh, the, Grand, the, Grand the, the Grand Canyon. Yeah. Because it's possibly snowed in. Yeah. So we are going to Zion, baby! My favorite place on the planet. Stay tuned.